Hey all, it's Aurelius. In this video, I'm going to share three ways on how you can build a digital product selling website. In other words, an e-commerce store where customers can add to cart and check out and then get all their products downloaded instantly. So check this out. This is the back end of one of the platforms I'll be showing you how to create this type of store. Very simple. And the best part is you don't need a website or a domain name using this method. Check this out. So you can create products. So I've got two example products here, one for $49, one for $19.95. They can simply add to cart and then that'll add it to cart and then they can check out and pay. And here's another platform that does a very similar job. We've got demo product number one, demo product number two. And again, this platform also allows customers to add to cart. So stay tuned and let's get started with the first digital product selling platform. As you saw with this store, you can add to cart. Customers can go into the individual product and then learn more about this product and then add to cart if they like what they see and then check out. The platform that allows you to build this type of store is called Gumroad. I did a tutorial and a review of Gumroad. I'll link up the card right here for you to check out. And that gives you basically a step-by-step -step guide on how to set up your store using Gumroad. But very briefly, this is the back end, and this is where you set up your product. You enter your product name, give it a description, and you can also add images and basic things like bulleted uh, features and benefits. You can add whatever you wish and basic formatting such as H3, headings and H4, quotes, underline, italics, bold. You add a cover image so that when someone goes to that specific product, you'll see, or the customer will see this header on the actual page like this. So this is a preview. And once you publish it, this is the unique URL that you basically drive traffic to. To drive your customers directly to your store page, you simply go to your settings and then you can change your username, but it's basically gumroad.com forward slash your username. In my case, it's gumroad.com forward slash your real to Jin. As part of the product setup, you add other things like a summary, additional details, like what they're going to get as part of uh, their download. And then you add your content, or in other words, the digital download. So this could be an ebook, perhaps a software tool, or maybe some worksheets or PDF documents. You add your price here, and then you can basically set up different versions as well. So let's say you've got a pro version and a gold or silver version, it's up to you. And Gumroad allows you to do that. You can set up as many products as you want, and then it'll sit on your Gumroad store page. So that's Gumroad in a nutshell. A very similar platform or service is called Payhip and you can see what the store page looks like. Just like Gumroad here, customers can also add their email address and this is a way to build your email address or more so the e or email list. Payhip also has the feature by clicking follow and then they can enter their email address so then they will get notifications of any new products you add. Going into one of the products, they click it and then that'll take them to that individual product page like this. I didn't enter as much information as I did for the Gumroad product, but this is what it looks like. Limited in terms of the things that you can add on your page. So that's the drawback of Gumroad and Payhip. But again, you don't need a domain name, you don't need a website, everything is hosted on their servers. Payhip and Gumroad allow you to integrate your PayPal account with PayPal here. You can also integrate your Stripe account so you can accept credit cards and debit cards. As a side note, I also did a review and a tutorial on how to set up a store and your products in Payhip. I'll link up a card right here to that so you can watch it at your own convenience. In terms of the pricing of Gumroad and Payhip, very similar structure. So here's Gumroad first, no monthly fees, but there is a 5% plus charge fee. So which is a 5% plus the 3.5% plus 30 cents per transaction. However, you can upgrade if you feel like you're going to get a lot of sales in terms of volume, that makes more sense to upgrade to the $10 per month creator plan at 3.5%. So it's a Lower, not so much a lower fee, but that fee there, the 5% is waived. So all you need to pay is 3.5% plus the 30% transaction fee. And for Payhip's payment structure, it's $0 and you'll see the 5% transaction fee compared to the 5% and the 3.5% plus 30%. So if you're looking in terms of how much you're getting charged per transaction, I think Payhip's a better option for that. But the plus plan then comes to $29 per month, but 
you only get charged 2% transaction fee, which is less than the 3.5% plus 30%. So weigh out the pros and cons and see, you know, do a bit of math and maybe pay it, maybe a more economical solution for you compared to Gumroad or vice versa. And of course, they've got their pro plan, which is $99 per month and no transaction fees at all. So you just pay that $99 per month flat fee. That's all there is, no hidden costs. So that's Gumroad and Payhip if you wanna go that route. And I'll provide those tutorials and the links to those YouTube videos in the description below. Moving on to the next method, which is going the WordPress route and then using WooCommerce plugin. WooCommerce is probably by far the most popular e-commerce plugin for WordPress. Unlike Gumroad and Payhip, it gives you full flexibility in terms of how you want your store to look like, how you want it to function, because you're going to be hosting your e-commerce store on your own domain name and your web host. The great thing about WooCommerce is that it also integrates with a range of other plugins. That's hence why you probably would want to go the WordPress plus WooCommerce route and such as things like being able to integrate with simple things such as Facebook and MailChimp or your email marketing service. Gumroad and Payhip can also do this, but with limited amount of functionality. Overall, I would recommend the WordPress plus WooCommerce route if you want full customization and the ability to design your own stall and how you want it to look like. And of course, if you want to integrate other plugins, then this method is for you. Now, if you want the best of both worlds, as in you don't want to mess around with all the technical aspects of setting up a store, but at the same time, you want full flexibility in terms of how you want your store to look like, then I recommend using Shopify. Shopify is an all-in-one e-commerce system. You just log in and then everything is customized within the platform. Here's an example store made using Shopify. You've got the main header and here's what you see, a range of products, in this case, coffee beans. So let's say you wanna purchase this, just click that once and then add to cart and then buy now. This site looks clean, really professional and works the way it should. For digital products specifically, you want to use the digital downloads app so you add this and it's basically an integration. It'll give you extra functionalities such as attach files to your products. Customers get files instantly and then automatically send updates. On the back end, this is what it looks like. So you've got this MP3 download. You can see the attachment, how many sales made. Let's take a look at another screenshot. These are some orders and the delivery status shows delivered, obviously, because it's a digital download and you're able to see how many times the customer has downloaded the digital product. This is a thank you page or download page where customers go to after they purchase. That's Shopify in a nutshell. If you were to ask me which of these platforms I recommend you use to sell your digital downloads, I wouldn't say that there's a one size fits all. But one of the things I learned is that whatever gets the job done quicker and faster, that's the platform that you should be using. So if you don't wanna mess around with code, and all the technical aspects of setting up, you know, this e-commerce or digital product uh, selling website, then something maybe like Gumroad or uh, Payhip will do. As long as you can get it out there, you know, sell your products and that's gonna help you, I guess, not procrastinate on the idea of selling products, then that's the platform for you. Another factor is your budget. Are you willing to pay a monthly fee? If so, perhaps Shopify is a better option for you since giving you all the bells and whistles that you would get from things like WooCommerce and Gumroad and Payhip. On the flip side, if you're technically savvy, then I would go the WordPress and WooCommerce route, especially if you wanna integrate many other plugins with your WordPress website. As a little disclaimer, the drawback with these platforms that I mentioned in this video won't allow you to create advanced sales funnel if that's what you're looking to do, such as a front end product, then you've got an upsell, then another upsell of that upsell, and then a downsell and a cross sell. If you wanna do advanced things like that, then I don't recommend any of these. There are other tools, you know, you've heard of click funnels, you've probably heard of Groove uh, funnels as well. They may be a better choice if you are looking to do more advanced sales funnels. But if all you wanna do is sell some digital products in a store like this, then really all the apps and platforms that I went through already in this video will do. That wraps up this video. If you have any questions about any of these platforms, be sure to leave your comments below. I do have specific step-by-step -step tutorials for Gumroad and Payhip specifically. I'll link those in the description below. But if you are, or if you have any suggestions on future topics that you wanna see on this channel, feel free to leave your comments below as well. By all means, if you got value from this video, if you wanna see more like this, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe and turn on notifications too, so you don't miss any future videos like this. In the meantime, be sure to watch these next relevant videos.